this is one of our road bikes. This is the Raleigh road bike. Um, if, for instance, you are in the shop and a customer comes in and they want a road bike, uh, they have the option of flat pedals, mountain bike pedals, and the road bike pedals. Um, these are the flats that we put on the bike. These are the road bike pedals that we put on the bike. There was also uh, mountain bike pedals, but I can't locate them at the moment because uh, we rearranged our, our shop. So once I locate those, I will post a little video of what they look like. Um, but if you have to, uh, if you have to um, switch out the pedals, um, we have some wrenches in the back and uh, that are specific for uh, this nut right here. And uh, if you're on the right hand side, it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. And if you're on the, uh, uh, the left side, it's the opposite. So turning it to the right will loosen it, turning it to the left will tighten it. Um, so that's just a way of uh, changing out the pedals on, the, on bikes. Remember, the left side, your left leg, is always opposite. Uh, and the right side is, if you turn it to the right, it's going to tighten the pedal. Turn it to the left, it's going to loosen it. Um, these tires are um, road bike tires. So you kind of want to have it, it, this one says 130 PSI max, uh, typically what James and myself, I kind of like do like 110, sometimes you can do 100 to 110 PSI. So uh, for this specific pump, if you've got the lever up, it's unlocked, it'll pull it down, it locks it so it doesn't spit off the stem. So you uh, turn it to the left and it will loosen this little spigot right here. So you want to have that loosened all the way out um, so that uh, air can get in. So, and then when you tighten it, um, tighten it up, it's going to, once you get it snug, no air or air is going to get out. These things will leak air, you know, every so often, but you always want to check the air pressure in these. You want to make sure that they're about 100 to 110 PSI. Um, and that's pretty standard. Um, so we will um, put this thing on. And then as you can hear it, it locks it in. And then we right now it's got about 40 pounds of pressure in there. And we'll start pumping this thing up. It's about like 103, 105, um, and then you just hit this quick release lever, and then you tighten this back up, the spigot, the little thing right there, tighten that up, and then you should have about 105 to 110 PSI in here, and you want to do that for the front, I mean for the back and the front, that way the customer is good to go. Um, that is a quick rundown on the road bike. You also want to make sure that in their changing bag, they have a spare tube, tire levers, a CO2 cartridge, and the CO2 attachment. You want to make sure they have a tire changing kit so when they take off from our rental store, they've got everything they need. Also, we also like to make sure they have a water bottle cage on their uh, on the road bike just in case they're going on, on a long distance they got uh, a place to put their hydration uh, so make sure they always have a road bike bag for changing their tire just in case they have a flat somewhere they can take care of themselves um, and make sure that the uh, the tires are, are pumped up to the, uh, the right PSI and uh, whatever the customer prefers if they want flats road pedals or mountain bike pedals that we put the correct uh, pedals on their uh, rental bike for the week.